Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyEyeMarketing.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload a file to your ClickFunnels 2.0 account. So you can upload like a PDF or a video or really any other type of file to your ClickFunnels account. So that way they could go ahead and download it on a thank you page or after purchasing a product or something like that. So let's go ahead and get into it. First, you go on down to settings here. And then we go to my assets right here. And then you can see that there are various assets already in my account. So you can do images, videos. So if you have videos, you can upload them. Download, so this is pretty much anything you can think of. So we're gonna go ahead and stick a PDF in here. But also you could upload audio files and fonts as well. So various file types. And I don't think there's any limitations to what you can upload. Now there are limitations to the sizes of files you can upload, but they are pretty generous. So you can see images up to 10 megabytes, videos up to three gigabytes, downloads up to three gigabytes, audio up to one gig. So lots of space for you to go ahead and upload those files for your customers to download. So let's go ahead and upload a PDF right here that will deliver as a lead magnet. So I'm gonna go ahead and state the name of it. And then we just upload a file and select your file. And you can do a preview image if you want to, but you definitely don't need to. So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and do create file and just like that it's uploaded so we could go ahead and click on it and then if you go to download current file and you right click on it and you do copy link address now that copies the address directly to the file so let's go ahead and open a new incognito window and we'll go ahead and paste that link in there and it should bring us directly to our PDF so there you go there's the PDF that I've uploaded so I'm gonna go ahead and close that now we can go ahead and connect this to one of our pages so let's go to funnels here and I'm gonna go to my lead magnet funnel and then I would come down here to the thank you page and we'll go ahead and edit it real quick. And then I can come down to this button, for example, we can click on it and I want it to go to custom URL and then I paste the URL of my PDF file. And then I could say, you know, download the PDF. There we go, so they're downloading the lead magnet and we can save it and we can preview it and then we can go ahead and click on that button to make sure it opens up the PDF and it does just like that. So that's one way you can go ahead and upload files and then give them to your customers or your leads to stick it on the thank you page and link to it. So pretty self-explanatory. Another way you can deliver an asset is through an automation. So we have an automation here called lead magnet delivery. So I'll click into it real quick. And so I could use this automation to deliver an asset. I could click on this plus button right here and we see the option to send an asset. So I could go ahead and click on send asset and then I could select my asset to grant access to. And what this will do is have ClickFunnels send out a system email. So they'll be emailed a link to their customer center to download the file. So basically it's going to bring them into the back end of your website so that way they could access their file. And it's kind of like onboarding people as well because then they'll be given login information and stuff like that so that way they kind of become part of your business. Now the downside of doing it this way is that you don't really have control over this email that gets sent out. Like it's a system generated email so it's pretty standard looking. And also it creates a couple hoops for people to jump through like they have to go log into that customer center in order to access their download. So there are some pros and cons to doing it this way. Now what I usually do if I do a send asset, I'll follow up like 15 minutes later with another email being like, hey, I sent you an email that contains some login information and that's where you can go ahead and download your asset. So I'd send like a regular email then and use one of my templates and be like, hey there, about 15 minutes ago you requested X lead magnet and I just wanted to make sure that you saw the email or answer any questions you may have about accessing your download. And so that is another way to give somebody access to the asset. Alternatively, of course, you don't have to do the send asset option. You could just generate an email just like normal. So you could go ahead and, you know, select your template and, you know, lead magnet delivery and then open this email to access your download and then from address right here and then you go ahead and edit your email and then you could just edit the content and be like hey contact first name click here to download your lead magnet enjoy nathan and then of course you'd go ahead and link this to the asset location that has the file that you're sharing as your lead magnet so i'll just put a pound sign there but think you get the idea basically you're just sending an email that includes the link to your file and so that's another way to give people access to that asset one other way you can deliver these assets is when people buy products so if you have a product and you want to deliver just you know a pdf for example we could come in here and i'm going to go ahead and click on one of these products here main product for example and i'll scroll on down here to purchase actions and we see digital asset access 
We can click on this plus button here. And then I can go ahead and click this, the sales funnel book as my asset and click on save. Now when somebody purchases this main product here, it'll automatically give them the link via email to download the sales funnel book PDF. And also this particular product is also connected to a course and a community as well. So they'll get all sorts of access upon purchasing this product, but that's another way you can go ahead and deliver those digital assets is by connecting them directly to products. And so that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or check out crazymarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.